Okay guys, welcome to the Catfish Kitchen. We got a delicious one for you today. It is the ultimate cabbage roll soup. There's uh, quite a few different ways to do this. Uh, a lot of recipes call for rice at this stage. I don't do it that way anymore. I find the rice just disappear. So I now add the rice once it's done. I use cooked rice and add it once it's done. We are making this in the slow cooker today. My slow cooker is already preheated. Uh, we have cabbage, carrot, garlic, an onion already chopped. Got about a half a kilo of ground pork, some tomato paste. You could use whatever tomato product you like. Uh, one liter, four cups of, I'm using turkey stock, it's all made turkey stock, and uh, some brown sugar. I'm going to put everything in the slow cooker right now except the ground pork. I'm going to take that and uh, fry it off, try and get some of the fat out of it. You could also use ground beef or sausage would be nice in this, ground sausage or uh, you know sausage without the casing. I'm using ground pork. I will season the ground pork in the pan, just salt and pepper as I'm frying it off. But I'm going to get everything else in the slow cooker first. Let it get started. Cook time, three to four hours. Like I said, this is homemade made turkey stock. That's the onions and the carrot. About two cups of carrot. And some garlic. I could probably have fried the garlic off with the, the ground pork. I've never done it that way, but that would work. If there's not enough moisture, just add a little bit of water. This is so simple and so delicious, it's unreal. Seems strange to add sugar, especially this much, three tablespoons, but it works. Uh, the salt comes from the stock, right? I use tomato paste, it's what I have. I'm using two cans. I can't remember if I used one can or two cans before. I'm thinking it's two. We'll find out. The proper amount will be in the written recipe. Link in the video description. This don't look like much right now, but let me tell you what. This is delicious. We'll just leave that alone. We'll go cook some pork. I'm going to cook this as slow as possible because I want the fat to render out of it. I, basically the only reason to do this is to get some of the fat out. I have to say, it smells good already. Some of it's going in the pot. That's it. Now we just let her it do its thing. Three hours or so. And we'll see what she looks like, adjust the water, add the rice, stuff like that. We'll be back. 
been about two and a half hours. Starting to smell, making me hungry. See how much moisture's in there now? Oh yeah, that's looking good. That is looking really good. See, the carrot is probably the hardest thing to cook. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it's not ready. I think the moisture level is uh, is pretty good. There's no rice in here yet, so uh, I want it to be kind of thick. But you know, the choice is yours. If you wanted to, you could. If it was a little low, you could add a little bit more stock or water. Let's taste it. It's really good. It's really good. It's got the right amount of salt. It's very tomatoey right now. It tastes mostly tomato. I'd say another hour. Can't wait. I'd say that's done. Oh yeah, oh yes, 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 that's done. Turn it off. Now, rice, how much rice we're gonna add? The last time I did this, I served this over rice. Just put rice in my bowl and uh, served it over the rice. I'm gonna add the rice this time. This is already cooked, ready to eat, so we'll go. That much. See what that looks like. Like I said before, cooking the rice at the same time, for me that don't work. I know most recipes call for that. You could put it in later, but for me it just disappeared. Break it up. That looks good, huh? Oh, that looks really, 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 really good. <laughs> Got the dog's attention. <laughs> you know that's good, right? Got two dogs now. Okay, let's try it. Slow cooker. Cabbage roll soup. Deconstructed. Oh my god. That's delicious. Got a nice chunk of pork in there. Man, oh man. Cabbage never tasted so good. Let me tell you what. That is delicious. <laughs> I need to try some more. Man, oh man, that is so good. All right, guys, well, there it is. My version of cabbage roll soup cooked in a slow cooker. I've done this stove top as well. It works exactly the same, just a lot quicker. But slow cooker as uh, set it and forget it, you know what I mean? Uh, the measurements in the recipe, it's exactly what I used here today and it worked good for me. Uh, the amount of salt in that's going to depend on your chicken stock or whatever kind of stock you choose to use. I suggest something good. Or you could just go with water and a bouillon cube or something like that, you know. The choice is yours. But uh, that is where your seasoning comes from. So uh, get a good one. I made my own. In this case, it was turkey. Really good. 
But uh, once it's almost done, taste it, make sure your seasoning is okay, you're happy with it. You could add a little spice to this. Uh, that would be really nice. Actually, I've done that before. Kicked it up a notch. This, uh, this time I didn't put any in. My recipe doesn't call for it, but you know, when you cook your own food, you cook it the way you want it. If you want it spicy, make it spicy. It is delicious, let me tell you what. All right guys, link to the written recipe is in the video description. If you like this, give it a share. <laughs> I got some friends that want to try some. I think they will be happy with it as well. As always, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Go make yourself some cabbage roll soup. It's easy. Only takes the prep time is only like 10 minutes, right? Throw it all in the slow cooker. You don't have to cook off the pork like I did. I think it's better that way. But if time's an issue, it does, doesn't have to be done. I'm good, boys. I'm good.